Welcome to my channel. I'm Kim Ferguson. I'm going to be featuring a lot of different groups here. Scrap Temper 2022, a punched out Thursday to die for, and little scraps of heaven designs for whom I'm on the design team. I'll be using this lovely sewing bear file on a two page layout that is celebrating my daughter-in-law's 28th birthday. You can see here that I'm just kind of showing you some things I'm going to be incorporating onto this layout. I have this flexible ruler. It's a great tool. I found it at Michael's. I have the paper piecings that I've already created with the sewing bear. And over to the right is a crop and style sticker that I'm actually gonna use as a sewing rolling cart. For Punched Out Thursday, I'm using these dies. So yes, Ronnie Sue Scrapper is someone who I followed for a long time and she has encouraged me to join Punched Out Thursday to die for, but I don't usually use punches and so I feel bad to use my paper piecings to qualify for that. But Ronnie, I'm pulling out the punches today. I have a Martha Stewart border punch over to the left and then I have some stitched borders, thin cuts, and then I also have that tag that has some stitching on it the word happy from close to my heart and then the number two and the number eight are also from close to my heart so here's that border punch I love how it folds out and I cut it out of this bluish paper that corresponds with the floral paper you see in the bottom left hand corner and there are the two and the eight because my daughter-in-law just turned 28 so these are the supplies I'm going to use I'm going to do a lot of the work off camera coming back to show you how I'm going to be assembling these so scrap timber my very first time participating scrap timber is from scrappy sisters Laura Alberts and they've brought in Christie's beautiful life this time and we're going to be using the same format that we use for Christie's beautiful life the best of sketches and uh, the 30 days of sketches where we do a general playlist and what happens with that is every day you can come on check that playlist and there will be new videos that go up on each day of the scrap timber so starting with september 1st which is today and the prompt is stitching so that was perfect for this birthday celebration where we gifted my daughter-in-law some ginger scissors which are fabulous fabric sisters and then a cart to carry around her sewing machine which she is starting to love how to learn how to sew she and my niece-in-law and my niece-in-law sister they all come here and sew twice a month and so they cart around their their sewing machines and so this will enable my daughter-in-law to do the same so anyway rambling on here but that's what these pictures are of you can see that paper piecing bear I've added some little fabric flowers to the sewing machine and I also balled up some thread and put that on there from accents so here's how I'm layering I use that flexible ruler to make the wavy edge for that floral print much like you see Kiwi Lane uh, stencils or templates, I kind of do the same thing with that flexible ruler. So I suggest grabbing one of those at your Joann's or Michael's, but it really makes for great wavy borders. Okay, and then you can see that little bit of a black strip. That's just where I cut down the black mat behind my um, background. I just use that to go through my cuddle bug and it gives um, some stitch X's there. I'm not sure if you can see those so well, but there are stitches. So I didn't do any hand sewing on this or machine sewing. It is all faux stitches by the pattern paper and by using that thin cut. And then of course I brought in the sewing machine and a sewing machine is what you stitch with, correct? So anyway, that's how I interpreted the scrap temper prompt today for stitching. So just gonna glue down these photos. I matted them with the black. The black is behind that background. And then I also did some inking around the edges of my background papers with just some black ink from close to my heart. I love my ATG gun using that. There is gonna be a moment where I run out and have to go more to my liquid glue, but I do use that as a general rule on my layouts. So just trying to get these equally spaced with my photos. And yes, I do put little emoji faces on my photos to protect my family's privacy. And I'm only putting the glue down the center of this fun foam on the back of this four x four photo so that it's not glued to those four by six photos. I just want the glue to touch the patterned paper and it is lifted off. And so I think if it's really well there, cause it's just covering up the box that the gifts came in, but yet you can still see what's going on in the picture. 
And then with this little bear with the sewing machine and with this, it was a crop and style bag, but I covered up the crop and style with the florals and then the pin cushion and that thimble. And these paper piecings, I didn't do a video on how to assemble them, but you can find the paper piecings from the Little Scraps I Have in Design website. I'll also put that link below. I am on the design team and just love paper piecing. It's one of my big passions in the craft room. And so incorporating your die cuts, your paper piecing, your stickers, pattern paper and punches, look at how it all just really coordinates and makes a fun themed layout. This is more my style and I'm hoping to get more into combining my themes like I, I love to do and getting these prompts from the Scrap Timber helps me to start with the base layout and ideas and then just grows from there. So I just pull from different categories in my scrap room. I have everything by alphabet, so animals, baby, beach, crafting, sewing, scrapbooking. I just go to those different titles and pull the things that I need to make my layouts work. Now, the one thing I wanna point out, you can't really see it in the video, but the little fabric that the bear is sewing on the sewing machine, I actually did use my stylus tool and I gave it some texture. So it does sort of look like it's quilted. So there is the right hand side of my two page layout. This will be the left hand side. I'm not going to be putting the photos on the photo mats for this side because it does have a lot of faces from my family. That would have been way too many emoji punches to put on there. So I'm just going to get this prepared and then put the photos on after the video. So you can see where that bottom wavy border, I use that again with that wavy ruler and I'm just kind of putting up above so you still see some of that stitching on the pattern paper below it. So I just put a little bit of glue at the bottom of it and just a little up the side so I can slip this punched border blue paper behind it. I brought over the right hand side so that I can make sure that I'm lining up both that floral pattern paper and also this punched border. So I do want them to look like it's a continuous page from left to right. There you go. So I think I did a pretty good job there with that flexible ruler and then replicating it on the other side. Here is that little bit of black that I cut off of my black background and I used again those uh, thin cuts with the stitched X's on it and so I'm going to line that up again with the right hand side. So we just have that continuous flow from one side to the next side, helping these to go together really well. I do use the um, post bound albums. So when they're in the album together, they don't match up perfectly, but you just kind of want it to go from one side to the next flowing with your eyes. So I'm just trying to figure out where I want these mats to go. I have more than two photos that are going to go on this page, so I will be incorporating flip, the flip flaps from Close to My Heart once I put the photos on this layout. Again, I'm not going to put them in here. And there's where the ATG ran out, so I had to go back to my Barely Art glue to help glue these mats. T-Score ruler works wonderfully. I do have to give you kind of some good news and some exciting news from Close to My Heart. There's going to be a brand new T-Ruler coming out. It should be available in September, hopefully sometime this month, but it is magnetic. So the T part will come off of the long ruler and it also is going to have the holes in it for any piercing you want to do. So taking the T-square ruler and our old piercing ruler and putting them together in one, I'm very excited to get one, but again, still hasn't been available yet. You could see when I was first laying this out, I was gonna put that horizontal mat down at the bottom, but I decided to go up to the top because I wanna put this tag that I cut out with a thin cut. What I've done on that tag is I've stamped a stitch to flower and I also stitched, or excuse me, stamped the word sew and those little X stitches on there. Those were from some retired close to my heart stamps. There's where that thin cut happy and the number 28 come into play. Those again were from die cuts. So meeting that uh, punched out Thursday to die for prompt for Thursdays. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. You can see where I have black on the back. I cut out one of this blue and then one of the black, layered it together and putting that down at the bottom. Now I will tell you after the video was over and I was kind of looking at that, it does get lost in that patterned paper. So I took a black thin pointed pen and outlined the very edges of the happy where the black is on the uh, cardstock. 
I, I did it only where the black cardstock was poking out. So it does highlight it a little bit more and lifts it off the page. So here is that tag. You can see that I've put some twine and some thread through the tag hole to give it some thread on this side because I had wrote, you know, wound up the thread on the other side, wanted to pull that to this side as well. So there's the scissor from that paper piecing. I have a sticker measuring tape on there and then a sticker floral on that tag to bring in those yellows on this side. So there is the left hand side. Everything matches up. I'll bring in the right hand side and just show you how they go together really well. So in the description below, please click on the playlist for Scrap Timber. Check out Little Scraps of Heaven Designs and also check out anybody else participating in Punched Out Thursday. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great crafty day. Please like, subscribe and share. That's the best compliment you can give anyone on YouTube. Bye bye.